Formbill Service Manager has introduced a new feature that allows you to specify authorizers for a request at a particular point in the process. Here we're looking at a change request and as it works through its different stages we can get to a point where an authorization is required. Here we're first going to have to complete the next activity in this change which is to provide a backup plan. Once this is done we can move on to the authorization where we're presented with an action that allows us to add users that are needed to authorize this request. So rather than having to preset authorizers in the workflow, we can manually add the authorizers that are required for this particular change. A search option allows you to look up users and add them as authorizers. However, to help with determining who might be required for this change, we also automatically present the owners of the service that this change has been raised against and we also list all the owners of any assets that might be also linked to this particular change. Even at this stage, assets and services can be linked and their owners added to the list. Here I'm going to the asset action and I'm going to link a desktop computer to this change. Once done and we go back to the authorization action, we can see that the owner of this asset has been added to the list. From the list of owners, we can either select individuals by clicking on the add button or include all owners by using the add all button and we now have our list of authorizers ready. We also see here that this is listed as an individual authorization where only one of the three authorizers needs to accept this change. Other authorization types include majority, which would require two out of the three to accept this change or we could have a unanimous authorization where it needs uh, to be accepted by all three of these, these users. Once all authorizers are in place, the list can be submitted and the authorization request is assigned to each of the, uh, the listed authorizers. So here we see the timeline hi history and then the three actual activities for completing those authorizations. Now we're just going to switch over to administration where we can have a look at the BPM and how this is configured. So looking at the planning stage, we're going to mo move through and we see our backup plan that we completed. And as we follow through, we get to our authorization node. By double clicking on this node, we can go to the properties and options. We see here the authorization type where we have individuals selected and the two other options for majority and unanimous. And then we have our three areas around linking the service or asset owners to this request to help with those assignments. This is then followed with the auto assign authorization, which is then tasked with sending out those authorizations to those users.